William Powell was on the New York stage by 1912, but it would be ten years before his film career would begin. In 1924 he went to Paramount Studios, where he was employed for the next seven years. During that time he played in a number of interesting films, but stardom was elusive. He did finally attract attention with The Last Command in 1928, as Leo, the arrogant film director. Stardom finally came via his role as Philo Vance in The Canary Murder Case, 1929, in which he investigates the death of Louise Brooks, the Canary. Unlike many silent actors, sound boosted Powell's career. He had a fine, urbane voice, and his stage training and comic timing greatly aided his introduction to sound pictures. However, he was not happy with the type of roles he was playing at Paramount, so in 1931 he switched to Warner Brothers. There he again became disappointed with his roles, and his last appearance for Warner was as Philo Vance in The Kennel Murder Case, 1933. In 1934, Powell went to MGM, where he was teamed with Marana Loy in Manhattan Melodrama, 1934. While Philo made Powell a star, another detective, Nick Charles, made him famous. Powell received an Academy Award nomination for The Thin Man in 1934, and later starred in the Best Picture winner for 1936, The Great Ziegfeld, 1936. Powell could play any role with authority, whether in a comedy, thriller or drama. He received his second Academy Award nomination for My Man Godfrey, in 1936, and was on top of the world until 1937, when he made his first picture with Gene Harlow, Reckless, in 1935. The two clicked, off-screen as well as on-screen, and shortly after became engaged. One day while Powell was filming Double Wedding in 1937, on one MGM sound studio, Harlow became ill on another. She was finally taken to hospital, where she died. Her death greatly upset both Powell and Minor Loy, and he took six weeks off from making the movie to deal with his sorrow. After that he travelled, not making another MGM film for a year. He eventually did five sequels to The Thin Man, the last one in 1947. He also received his third Academy Award nomination for his work in Life with Father, also 1947. His screen appearances became less frequent after that, and his last role was 1955. He'd come a long way from playing a villain in 1922.